Android Dialogues, where we have bite-sized conversations with people from the Android community. I'm Chuki Chen, and today we are chatting with... Ian Lake. Hello, Ian. Hi. Where are you based, and what do you do? I'm based in Mountain View, California. Where we are right now. Yes, <laughs> and I am a developer advocate at Google. Google! How did you get started on Android? Um, I got started uh, about almost five years ago, um, starting kind of in my own free time, mm -hmm. and then... Uh, through a project for my master's degree, actually. We did oh, okay. Android uh, development there. So And then you fell never, in love. Never and stopped. Wow. Never stopped. Excellent. And we were actually chatting um, off screen. And for some reason, the topic of step overflow came up. Yeah, it's kind of a big deal, right? Yeah, because we were arguing about whether it's kosher to answer your own question. Yes. I mean, that's a little bit advanced. So I guess maybe we just get like an overview of like, how do you use a stack overflow and what do you think about it? Yeah, Stack Overflow is a great resource for Android developers. Right, right? and developers in general. Yes, yeah. developers in general. Mm -hmm. And you know, the Android tag has really kind of been like a huge part of Stack Overflow because it right. is kind of that. It has, the, it has the little guy on it, so yeah, it's like it's official. Got the symbol. Yeah. It is. Um, yeah. And it is kind of the best Q&A kind of resource of like, mm -hmm. I have a random Android question. It used right? to be that Google maintained a lot of different Google groups, and right. and it was really difficult actually to get answers. So I'm kind of glad that we moved to uh, on to a, like a specific Q&A format. That right. Is, and the best part yeah. is that Stack Overflow is very easily searchable via Google. Ta -da! Um, so, yeah, if you're yeah. typing a random question like Android, I have no idea what I'm doing. And right. There's probably a question mm -hmm. for that specific topic on right. Stack Overflow, yeah. right? Especially for uh, more current things or mm -hmm. you know even basic type of things. Now, one yeah. thing to keep in mind with mm -hmm. Stack Overflow, particularly, is that it's very much kind of a code-heavy kind of website, right? right? It's yeah. not necessarily the best place to like ask an app architecture kind oh, of question. Oh, in fact, people will vote you down. Yeah, yeah you really they don't like, like those questions. You know, yeah. it's okay. Like if you have code and something that is actually like mm -hmm. understandable, right? right? Then then it makes a lot of sense, mm -hmm. right? But yeah. if you're really trying to kind of like mm -hmm. pull out type of thing, it's not necessarily the best. Right. Thing. Yeah, I actually started answering questions on Stack Overflow, but I was a little bit timid about asking questions. I, I, I feel like I don't want to look stupid on the internet. So I have been I, going through and just answering other people's questions. And also sometimes I feel like whatever I want to ask is somebody else already asked yeah. it. I don't need to ask it myself. And you know, that's, yeah. that's certainly something, especially now, right? But right. You know, if you think about any of the newer topics, right? right. a newer version of Support Library, a newer version of yeah. things like Marshmallow. Right, or like Vector Support Library. Well, not about support. That's not available yet. The vector right. drawable library. We're working on it. Um, yeah. But though, know, there's always going to be new things right. to talk about, right? Yeah. And like those new releases, like if you're mm -hmm. like, wow, day one, I've already explored the whole thing, yeah. right? Like you may be the expert in that so, subject. It's right? interesting. So like speaking of the vector drawable, like when it came out, mm -hmm. I actually did go in and explore, right. and I wrote a blog post about it. Yeah. And for me, that's how I usually share knowledge like I I go to my blog and I feel like that's like my corner of the internet right. I set the rules this is how I'm going to <laughs> present it and I can like attach images and things like right. that I don't look at stack of stack overflow as a publishing pa platform sure. but I have seen Chris Baines, another like, developer, a relations right. person just I think he did a lot of the uh, app compact mm -hmm. and then people have a lot of he treats Stack Overflow as an FAQ, essentially. He right. asks his own question, and then go ahead and right. answer and it. And that's actually totally OK by Stack Overflow's rules. I had you no can. idea. I was like, you are just right. creating you're, questions you're only, so they get points. You only, get, you only get half the points as if you had answered someone's uh -huh. real question. Right. Um, but at the same point, like if you ran into an issue and you've spent hours on it, mm -hmm. there's bound to be other developers who are in the right. same boat, right? And it may be that all they need is like that, oh, right, I needed to do yeah. this one extra thing, right? But you know, part of that thing is like, how do you answer a good Stack Overflow question, right? right? And like the blog posts are really great for that like 20, 30 plus minute of like, wow, well, let me go in depth. Mm -hmm. But like so many questions are like, oh, right, it was just this one Use thing this I flag. needed, right? <laughs> yeah. Or like, you know, so for me, a good Stack Overflow question mm -hmm. is one kind of a very direct answer of like, hey, you need to do this, right. and here's some code that actually does that. Mm -hmm. And then it's the why. It's the, you need to do this because of this and this, and oh, look at this blog post that kind of go into the details right. here, and oh, if you want more information, like there's actually Watch this whole, YouTube video that... 
Right, there may be something <laughs> already on Android development patterns right. or something that's right. already up there, right? Mm -hmm. Or, you know, if you have your own personal blog, right? right that's actually a really good way of re-engaging with the audience and yeah. getting kind of that feedback, right? Mm -hmm. And maybe your blog post covers two or three issues, right? right? And it's not so much that, like, oh, wow, I can sum up my whole blog post in, in a two-paragraph two <laughs> stack yeah. overflow question, right? But maybe at the same point, like, it could be a couple of questions of like, oh, I'm having a problem with this. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's the yeah. solution, right? And maybe your blog post is more exploratory of like right. working through multiple problems yeah. at the same time. So my blog posts, I usually also present the wrong solutions, like basically walls that I walked into, because I feel like that's completely valid to tell right. people not to try that, because I tried it for you and it doesn't work. Right. And that Stack Overflow, Stack Overflow does not like that. Like right. it doesn't like false starts. So there, are, there is a time and place well, for Well, but know. at the same point, like that makes a great question. Right, like I'm trying. I'm <laughs> so trying. So telling me to put like, like the four stars in the question well, part. Well, you think about it this way: like I'm trying to do X. Mm -hmm. I have code that looks like Y. Right. Why isn't it working? And you're mm -hmm. like, well, of course, like actually Y isn't the right approach in this mm -hmm. case, right? Because X, Y, and Z is right. like you have to actually do these things, uh -huh. and this is how you'd actually do yeah. it, right? And there it becomes very natural, right? Because you know yeah. if you're thinking about a problem. Uh -huh. It is very much like, oh my god, I have a big problem, I need to solve it, right? Right. And Stack Overflow is very much that bite-sized version yeah. of that. I actually am relieved to hear that this is actually something, well, they don't actively encourage, but they don't discourage either, because I feel like a lot of the times people who found a problem and then they solve it and they just secretly kind of like finish it and then get on with life yeah. and if you tell them oh you just need to like blog about it and then it just feel like the bar is really high yeah. I was like You're, what do you mean I have to start up a blog and then right. I have to like go and like figure out a title of my blog <laughs> I mean I obsess over such things you know yeah and it <laughs> right? takes a lot of time and effort to really do it right exactly and, you know there's already so many people who are an asking questions on Stack Overflow, right. maybe even just searching Stack yeah. Overflow first and be like, oh, there actually is someone right. who asked that exact question. Like, you don't need to make a and, fake and the question. Ta the if task is smaller. Asking. Like, either if there's already a question or yeah. asking your own question, you don't have to go through, like, if I have my own blog, I have to brand it, I have to do all these things. You right. just, today I have this problem and I found this solution. Yeah. Done. Right. You may have to create an account first if you don't already have an account, right. but, but it's you can much use more your Google lightweight. account and everything. Oh, hey, so hey. You don't actually need to remember another username and password because right. they do use open IDs. Yeah, so, so I kind of, like, for me, it's eye opening. It's like, oh, I can use Stack Overflow as right. a you know, platform to share and, yeah, my and problems and, and if solutions. If anything, if anything, right, just copy pasting solutions, right. right? Like, you could be upvoting the correct answers if yeah. they actually work, right? And that's a way of kind of giving back to the community and saying right. like, oh right, well that second answer, mm -hmm. not the accepted answer, is actually <laughs> the, the one thing that, that worked, right? And those upvotes really matter a yeah. lot when you know another thousand people right. come to that same question and are like, okay, well which one do yeah. I choose, right? So you can really give back to the community in a way right. that really makes a difference to a lot of developers. And in, in fact, I, I also upvote the one that's chosen just to say thank you to the uh, person who answered it because you get reps for it, you get reputation points for it. So yeah. I do go th do that as well, just yeah. like, thank you. Right, yeah, yeah. and you know, so. you have to realize that a lot of Stack Overflow questions have been around for a long time, right? right? Android's been around yeah. five years, right? So yeah. the accepted answer may just be four years old. Right. right? And that, that's certainly a possibility, yeah. right? So cool. just realize that mm -hmm. things definitely change over time. Yeah. So, so how always much, room yeah. for a better answer. How much time do you actually spend on Stack Overflow? Um, so my daily routine is I have multiple times I go to the newest questions ah. in Android uh -huh. and just kind of give a brief glance of like, okay, well, do these questions look um, mm -hmm. easy? I create a couple of tags that right. I like really closely follow the support mm -hmm. libraries one. Um, right. So that they stand out. So you regularly go and check and yeah, see. Yeah, it's and kind of like that, you know, oh, I'm going to get a drink of water, check Stack <laughs> Overflow, spend a half hour diving into code. Right. And right, like you learn a lot when you're trying to summarize yeah. things into yeah. two sentences. So. Great. Thank you so much for chatting with yeah. us. Um, I'm sure people want to follow up and find other things that you do. We actually have a very difficult time trying to decide what to talk <laughs> about. So if they want to follow up, where can people find you on the internet? Uh, the easiest place is on Google+. Plus. I'm plus, plus Ian Lake. Mm -hmm. So feel free to follow yeah, me we'll there. Yeah, we'll put it and on all the of my content. Overlay.
Great. Thank you so much. And by the way, we are actually at Android Dev Summit. So we'll also add a link. Yeah, he's hosting. Uh, we'll, we'll add a link. So hopefully when this episode goes live, the recording will be yes. already up. And yes, then people definitely. can see you on stage, talk about various things, and all these other awesome talks. Fantastic. Thanks for Great. having me. Thank you. Bye.